New Hampshire voters will get every chance to see Michael Bennett in the weeks ahead as the centrist Colorado senator doubles down on the first in the nation primary. We're going to have 50 town halls in New Hampshire between now and the primary. Uh, I'm going to answer every single question. I'm going to tell the truth, which I always do meet people in their living rooms and in their businesses, and I believe uh, build momentum coming out of New Hampshire. Bennett, who stopped by News 9 for an interview that will air in full Sunday on Close Up, hasn't been able to break from the back of the pack yet, but he has made an impact. His pointed criticism of Elizabeth Warren's Medicare for All plan appears to have hit home as her standing in some national polls is going down. We see her momentum is kind of stalled right now. Do you think your arguments have made a difference in sort of changing the outcome I, of the race right I, now? I do. You know, I'm the only person in this race that's fought for a public option for the last 10 years since we passed the Affordable Care Act. Nobody else can say that. And I'm the only person who wrote the bill. And it was very clear to me that the politics of Medicare for all were going to be toxic for the Democratic Party. If Granite State Democrats really want to limit President Trump to a single term, Bennett says he's their best bet. I really believe I'm where New Hampshire voters are. You know, if I look at the politics of Gene Shaheen and Maggie Hassan, I recognize myself in those politics. And I believe that those are the politics that will ultimately beat Donald Trump. But in this crowded primary, he faces an uphill battle to get around several other centrist candidates. Will he end up being sort of that alternative, that moderate alternative to some of the more progressive candidates? That remains to be seen. but. He's certainly uh, all in here. Adam Sexton, WMUR, News 9.